Hello everyone, welcome. We are having a live watch party. Ah, uh, thank you for everyone coming in. Uh, Benoit Tamens. Um, I like their name, Benoit. I guess I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you for everyone. I can't wait watch party. Um, another live. Let's see. Um, we're not sleeping boards here. Sup. Sup. It's going to come out. Um, well, that's true, but it'll be up to Tori. When, how it comes out, uh, we'll see. Bryce, hey. Yeah, season five live watch party. Um, that will be in September. Um, definitely I did it for season four. It was a lot of fun. Um, um, if you recall, for season four, they had an episode that aired. I was live and watched it live um, with anyone who was on. That was that was a lot of fun. Um, then I did a breakdown, and then we did it again um, in the run-up to the release. Uh, I think that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, just sort of having a countdown. It's it was, it was fun for me. I have a countdown on the screen, and everyone's asking, when does it come out? I'm like when there's literally a countdown on the screen, like <laughs> what else am I going to do? Um, watch pretty. Uh, will the trophies they want at the all Valley be stripped? Uh, probably not. Um, I mean, it, it depends, but like the way a lot of organizations do it, um, is especially in the case of like a biased ref, um, you would you wouldn't ever strip the competitor, right? So it's not Tory's fault the the ref was biased. It's not you know anyone's fault. It's not Kenny's fault. Um, you could say it's Terry Silver's fault, but but it's not Tory's fault. Um, like that, like the Olympics do this. Um, the Olympics. You can, if you win a gold medal, you could be stripped of your medal if you were, if it's come, if it comes out, you were cheating. If, if you were juicing, you know, taking steroids or whatever the heck, like if, if you cheated, um, you, you could lose your medal. You can retroactively lose it. Um, but if it just came out that the referee was biased, if there was biased judges or referees, uh, they won't ever punish the competitor for that. Um, so it's not your fault. The ref was biased. Uh, you still won. So, um, so they could, after the fact, award a first place. Uh, I don't think they would do that. I just, I don't think them getting really ultimately just show wise. Like, I don't see the show getting bogged down in these sorts of details. So that's why I don't think that'll happen. Um, but, uh, that's generally the way it goes. Like, like you, you aren't going to punish the competitor if the referee was biased. Now, if the competitor cheated, yes, but if it was if it was the referee, well, that's not that's not their fault. Do you think that we're close to a leak? I don't know what you mean, Benoit. Um, and theoretically, we're always close to a leak. You know, and and in some ways, more of season five has leaked than anything, just because of the Puerto Rico shoot. Uh, everyone down there in Puerto Rico just posted videos and their pics and such, you know, as I said in some of my videos, um, you know, maybe they're, they, they're not as like into holding off on spoilers and stuff. Um, um, well, I don't necessarily know if there's going to be an exact day, but you can figure around three weeks before the release um, um, there was a less of a lead time in the season four trailer than there was for season three it actually annoyed me a little bit just because um, I like the excitement I like making the videos um, I, I was hoping um, you know even just like two or three days earlier would have been nice but um, it didn't happen but yes yeah, somewhere around three weeks uh, yes, John, join the channel. You know, a few bucks a month and you get your name in green. I try to follow you guys on social media if I can. And, um, you know, we'll do a chat. Actually, we should probably do one 
now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this week. Uh, we'll see. Um, am I am I thinking behind on the check? Where I see Matt Moore, but I don't see it here. Why? Oh, oh there it is. Oh, yes, Matt Moore is also a channel member. Thank you. Um, Cobra Kai never dies. No, it does not. Um, no, 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 no. I'm, I, I want to be more. Um, what happens after Cobra Kai ends? I, I always, I, I never intended actually Watch Party to be a one show channel. It just kind of worked out that way. Um, which you can see because I didn't call it like. Cobra Kai party or Cobra Kai watch party. I called it uh, um, watch party. Um, in fact, I want to cover uh, House of the Dragon. We'll see how that goes. Right here on this channel. Don't freak out if you see a video that's not Cobra Kai. Some people do that. Um, um, I like, yeah, I mean, I thought that was fun. I thought that worked great. Um, did they do that for Stranger Things just a couple weeks ago? I can't remember. Um, you know, they may do something different. You know, I think they, they like to do different things, um, uh, you know, from season to season, which I, I get it. Hold on a second. We're going to take this off for a second. I'm going to come back to that in a second here. Um, but, um, um, I did like it. I thought it was, it, it was a fun event for just like, for what, for what I do and for what you do. Um, it was, it was fun. We, we came and, you know, we were live while I was going and is, you know, everyone, unfortunately, you know, not everyone could participate. That's the downside of it. Um, you know, not everyone was able to get in and watch the episode. Um, but it was fun for what we did. And, you know, and I made that, uh, a breakdown video of episode one that I thought was really good. And a lot of people really liked that. So it was kind of fun to see. That. So I, I would definitely be okay if they did it again. I don't know if they will. Um, yeah, off screen. Yeah, you know, ultimately, I think on some level, you're right. Like, I don't think they're going to get bogged down in these details. There's too much going on in the show to get, like, bogged down on stuff like that. That's that's what I always say. Like, you know, don't 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 get bogged down in the details. Miguel and Robbie need to be like brothers um, on some level, and especially if on some level they do become like brothers if Johnny and Carmen get married. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I, certainly he could own something or be running something or be involved with something down there. Um, you know, we'll see what it is. Um essentially if he gets out it would be towards the end of the season Bryce uh, um you know and I think I covered that in the in the recent video on crease um but yeah I do think something like that uh, m most of the season if not all the season um you know getting out in episode eight nine or ten. Yeah, as I, as I just said, um, they, whatever they do, they, they wouldn't take it away from Tori. Uh, normally, that's not how sports organizations work. Um, if it's if it's no fault of the competitor. Did you see? No, I didn't. Um, I do want to go see it. Uh, we'll see. I'll see it at some point. How do you think you'll be introduced? Um, that's a good question. He needs he needs like an entry, right? Like he, it's got to. He's got to be more than he just shows up, right? So, um, I don't know. Something cool. Oh, my favorite real life actor. Um, I mean, yeah, like Ralph or Billy, or you know, Martin Cove is a lot of fun to just to watch. I probably like enjoy Martin Cove's interviews the most. Like, if you if for whatever you take that for like um you know part of the reason i like martin goes interviews is because he kind of says things maybe he shouldn't have said and so it goes off but but um yeah i mean otherwise i, I don't know enough to comment 
Are you going to cover Squid Game Season 2? Maybe, but it won't be for a while. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the problem is, like, it was such a, a shock. Um, you know, so if they're they're writing it or something. Like, the, the guy who made it, like, he said he had ideas, but, like, he wasn't rushing to get back to it. But I, but I imagine, you know, Netflix, because of the success, wanted him to. So they threw him more money. But, you know, we'll see. But I don't think that'll be out for a while. Maybe not. Maybe not even till next year. Um, hey, Watch Party fan page. Thank you for coming in. Watch Party fan page. The best fan page on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> look up Watch Party fan page. Uh, Cinema fan. Hope season five has longer episodes. I would agree. Um, I don't know if it will. There's never been. They haven't said or hinted anything like that. Um you know, I, as I was just thinking, like, you know, Stranger Things had longer episodes and it really, really worked for them. Um, you know, they were around an hour format and now their episodes were, were like longer or a little less than an hour. However, however it was, um, you know, Stranger Things had a budget of 30 million dollars an episode, which is kind of insane. Um, you know, what could Cobra Kai do with 30 million an episode? But um um, you know, I don't think it necessarily has to be a lot longer. You know, I think five or six minutes longer actually could probably cover a lot more. Um, but, you know, it just depends on how it's written. Do you think Chosen will die in season five? I Yes, I wrote a video on it. I made a video on it. Did you see that? Um, hmm. Hmm. Go to my channel. Um, I don't have it. Um, but go to my channel, and we have a video on chosen dying. Um, I'm I I didn't I'm not the first person to predict that, uh, but I definitely think I helped you know put that theory out there. Um, so go ahead and uh, check it out. Um, I think there's some good reasons to think so. Um, as as I go over. What is Tori thinking when she's looking at her trophy? I should know. Um, viewers. What is Tori thinking? Um, probably something you know, like is this it? Is this is was this worth it? Um, what am I doing now? Where am I going now? What does it mean now? I think something like that. Like, um, let me see here. You know. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> Took me a second to just pull that one up directly, but yeah. Um what is this all worth? You know, like what is yes. Does that make sense? Any any other ideas? What do you think Tori's thinking here? Um, I mean, you could say, do I deserve this? What does this mean? I don't know. Something like that. Um, it does hint, um, yeah. And they've been getting longer, I think, each one. Um, um. Could also just mean more music, but <laughs> um, um, yeah, I well, Eliza, you know, as as most like sports people and whatever would would say um you know bad calls or whatever in the end you know that's it's it's like part of the game it's part of the match and the and the funny thing is i've i've gotten a lot of comments from real karate competitors and martial arts competitors <laughs> and they're always like man bias refs are so common in fact some people are like <laughs> said that's the uh the most the most impartial biased ref I've ever seen in my life. So, you know, it, it, the people who do this for real, I've seen 
far more bias than that and without even getting paid off. So, you know, and, and I think you can and, and can certainly make a good argument, you know, a little bit of a bias ref, a questionable call. And it's nothing more than like, well, a close call. I mean, nothing, nothing more in the show was more than a, a close call. So it wasn't like egregious. Um, you know, that's, you know, there, there are impartial refs who make worse calls than that. And so you can figure it's, it's part of the game. You know, it's, it's, she won. That's that. That's the end of it. You don't know how it would be differently. What did she mean when she said this ends tonight? Um, and she, just um, the nonsense. She felt like she could put an end to Miyagi Do. It's kind of weird. Her her motivations weren't very good there, as I talked after season three. Um. Oh yeah, so five to ten minutes longer would be good. Yeah, I, I think that's really all you need. Okay, yeah, Matt. Uh, predictions for the the last episode. Yeah, I get this. Like, and it's really hard. Because look back at season four, like could anyone predict before before season four came out? Could anyone predict in the last episode Miguel would quit the tournament and go to Mexico to find his father? Like, no, like he, like you can't you can't really predict the ending. Um, you know, you just you just can't like there's too it's too hard because we don't know what will happen on the way. Like no one could predict Mexico. You might have been able to predict like. Hawk wins the tournament. Like you know, some people predicted that. You, you could you could reason that. You could predict Tory would win. Uh, you could predict Cobra Kai would win overall. I did that. I got it right. Um, but like, but like really big things like like Miguel leaving and such. Like you can't predict that. What's happening? I'm doing a live stream, Carrie. <laughs> um, you hope Chosen doesn't interact. Well, yeah, that's good reason. Tori gets secretly trained by Chosen. That's kind of an interesting take. Uh, Rob, Rob, Robana? Rob, Robana? Um, yeah, like like a reverse of Karate Kid 3. Um, I don't know if Tori would do that. Um, but then you wouldn't think Daniel would do that. So, you know, we'll see. It's I really need to clean this. Yeah. I, I, I got to find a place where it'll sparkle in the light more. You won't get any calls in your first year. I don't know what you're referring to. Um, I don't deserve this. Yeah, maybe. Um, free or almost free? Yeah. Terry Silver's more about spreading the Cobra Kai than making money. He can. He's got enough money. He can worry about making money later. But that's combat sports. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, it is. It is. You know, th things are questionable. You, like, you, you talk to, like, real competitors, and, and they deal with biased refs all the time. Um, way more biased than what was in the show. You know, what in the show is, like, close. Anyway, I want to show you something. Um, there was an interview with Zach Arnold. That came out like yesterday. If you don't know, Zach Arnold is um, he's the guy on the right there. He is an editor uh, on Cobra Kai. Um, he he joined in season two. Um, he edited episodes uh, two, five and eight in season two. Um, he's really good at montages and such like it's, it's his specialty. Um, he edited the. He he also edited like the intro sequence in season two episode nine the 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 that's my girl thing, um like that whole montage he edited, um it was one of the later things they worked on. This is just some stuff I know about him, um and he he's actually the guy who picked that song that's my girl. 
he he's the one who came up with that whole thing. Um, like, uh, so he's an editor on the show. Uh, and he also did episodes on season three, one, uh, four, seven, ten. He he edited the finale. Um, he helps with some other stuff. And then, um, what did he edit? I think did he do one four seven ten again on season four? I think. <coughs> anyway. So th- th- he's doing this interview, um, talking just about editing and uh, in the process and all. This is like an, an industry interview or something. And um, she asked him about the wonder in season three. Uh, the wonder in season three dur- during the house fight. Here, l- listen to what he says about it. We'll, we'll play like a minute. Which brings me back to, would you like the answer to the question about the Wonder in 310? Yes, I okay. would. So the answer about this is that it is as close to a Wonder as you can get, but technically it is three different takes stitched together. So I wanted it. Everybody beam. wants it to be a Wonder, um, but it's just, it's nearly impossible for a shot that complex and that long with that many moving parts, which by the way, all of it's practical. There's not there other than stitching the shots together. There are no visual effects in that at all. There's no wire removal or crew in the shots. Like there was never a cameraman in the frame. So the only thing that was a visual effect was fixing one of the seams. One of the seams was seamless and I could do it myself, which says a lot because my visual effects capabilities are creating the banner in the lower third that says visual effects here. I don't do any visual effects at all. Not my thing. I'm going to outsource that to the professionals. There's one stitch that I made it to where most people don't didn't know it was a stitch, but watching the offline cut, you're like, eh, something's weird there. But other than that, seamless and a oneer, but I had to stitch different takes together just because you can have like a two minute oneer Mm -hmm. and one kid misses one punch, can't use it. So technically it's three stitched together, but it's as close to a oneer as you get. I have to know. I thought that was interesting. I didn't know that, um, that it was, uh, actually three shots, um, stitched together. So I didn't, um, know that I thought it was kind of interesting. And so I thought we could, I was going to look here. Um, just show you real quick, um, where I think it is. So this is the one where he's talking here. Um, and we'll get back to season five, but, but like, so this is the wonder and it's like almost a minute, 50 seconds long. You see how it's all going one shot. Everyone's fighting. Um, and then it, um, keeps going. Boom. And then, um, the, oh shoot, sorry. The kids. So I was going to say where I think the first stitch is. So Dimitri's, that's where he comes up. And I think it's here. He's going to hit him. Like, I think, I think it's here because notice, notice like it's also like, it's partly blurry, but like it, it almost gets uncharacteristically blurry. And I think they're, they're stitching it here. I think it was here, um, probably there, because because it got blurry, and and I think that the way to do that is on camera swings like that. You basically you you move from like one shot and it, it actually like moves off to the side, and then the other shot is moving on, and you're doing it as the camera is actually moving itself. And now he's also saying they they did special effects too to help it, um, like. So it's like blurry. So like there's a little special effects in painting or something like whatever, whatever is going on here. I don't know what that is. Um, uh, yes, it was Rickenberger. Um, and then there's Hawk. Uh, so this part here where he's just fighting. Um, and then she's here. And I think she throws him there. <laughs> he leaps. While, while there, I'm going to show you something I always thought was funny. Okay, watch, watch Sam. I love this. 
she just kind of like look at her like backing up there she just kind of like backs up out of the shot of course in in, in reality she's doing it to get out of the way because hawk's gonna throw him but i always thought that was funny the way she like almost just backs up out of the shot um and then but this is where i think the stitch is um right here because it gets it gets blurry again and then it's like that's that's a that's a good place to, to stitch it because like you can easily put two shots together there. So anyway, um, it's actually I think like a little disappointing, um, because you you would like to think of it as all one shot, you know, it's like ah well we use some special effects you know, um, and then this is where. Like the, the background fight there is kind of really bad. Um, he's. This is where like, he's just kind of like. <laughs> look, at, look at he's like he's like coming up and he's like so far away. Uh, yeah, the, the background fight isn't as good. Um, and then that's and over in the corner. That's where they all go and lay down. They're all there. I if they're gonna do special effects, why wouldn't they take that out? That's what I don't understand. Like, we're gonna do special effects, but we're not gonna take that out. Why not take take out those kids if they're doing special effects anyway? Um, but anyway, uh, that's the winner. Um, it wasn't your favorite. Yeah, I, I weirdly I think the music is the best there. That's like my favorite music. Um, I used to just listen to it. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Why is Tori in a Halloween costume? Yeah, you aren't supposed to think of it too carefully. It's a hidden cut. Yeah, they did a good job. And it, as he said, um, you know, I think part of it is he blurs it and the special effects team just kind of seamlessly uh, puts it together so that it's seamless. Um, but that's a... It's an interesting take. Um, um, yeah, and the other thing I was going to talk about, um, Hayden keeps talking about nerds of the valley, be afraid. Um, you know, and he said that again recently in relation to like Kim Da Un, uh, nerds of the valley, be afraid. You know, that's something um, Hayden is always talking about. And it's like, well, what is Nerds of the Valley be afraid? Because, um, you know, if you think back to the original movie, um, it wasn't necessarily like Johnny and his friends went around just beating up nerds. Like, even then, like, he didn't beat up Daniel because he's like, oh, he's a nerd. I'm going to beat him up. He beat up Daniel because, like, Daniel was flirting with Allie and whatever. And, you know, it was a little personal. Um Um, so that I'm curious how they, how they view that. Like, do they view Cobra Kai as like nerds of the Valley be afraid? Like we're going to beat up the nerds of the Valley or is it just, you know, a man confronts you. He is the enemy. Well, if a nerd doesn't confront you, he's not the enemy, right? That would, that would make sense. If a nerd leaves well enough alone, then he's not an enemy. You don't have to show no mercy because there's nothing against him. Is anyone else's favorite character Hawk? Yes, a lot of people like Hawk. I like Hawk. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, sure, the the fight will be a more of a full on fight. Just enjoy the ride, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Snake or Dennis? Um, Snake, right? Snake is the is the martial artist. Dennis is just the guy who gets stuff done, right? So, um, Snake is your answer. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it, even in that context, it seems more like she's talking about Johnny and Daniel. Um, like, I don't think Allie dated Johnny for two years if he was just going around beating up any dorky kid he saw. Do you think Miguel's dad will die? I would say it's possible. I just don't know. You know, just don't have any idea what they're going to do with that storyline. Um, there's a lot of different ways it could go. Him dying is one of them. That's the most he can say. You say Terry Silver. Asa. 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 Um. Um, where are we? Johnny teams up Miguel and Robbie after they finish in Mexico to defeat Terry. Kid gets injured. Maybe Johnny with Terry in the sauna. Johnny and Chosen versus Terry. Uh, maybe. But I think we got to figure out how uh, Kim Daoon factors into all this, too, now that she's there. So... Um, who would win Miguel season one or Daniel 84? They would both l l crank up the the crane kick and then neither would would win because they're both sitting there in the in the pose and nobody moves. So it becomes a draw. Um, well, if, if Miyagi-Do wins the tournament, um, I don't think Cobra Kai has the momentum to expand the way Terry Silver wanted. So, um, you know, season five is, is very different, and, you know, not happening at all. Will they call back to Silver's Wawa? Wow, wow, wow. I definitely think they may. Um, maybe. He just kind of made it up. If you if you heard the um, story behind that, you know they you know they were filming over the course of the day. They were doing a lot of takes. Um, you know he was just doing different stuff, and on one of them he just got a little weird and, and silly and just kind of started doing that on one of the takes. And they went through with the, the fight as it was choreographed. And then Pat Morita just did it back. Like, he just did it back. Wah, wah. Like, Pat Morita just did it back in, in the take. And then yeah, I, it ended up being the one, you know, Avelson used because he kind of liked that. You know, but it was really just Thomas Ian Griffith kind of just doing a little something different, screwing around on one of the takes. And then Pat Morita just saw it and, like, did it right back. Um, but uh, apparently that wasn't scripted. That was just from them. I want Terry to say to Tori, we are not sweeping boards here with conviction. <laughs> Snickles. <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see how it goes. I think someone will be in prison and interact with Crease. Uh, Bryce, did you see my video? Um, You need to see um, because I just I covered that in the in the most recent video. Um, wait, which one did I cover? 
Oh, I, I should move that in the, um, let me show you just in case you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my channel. I'm going to, I need to move it. But, um, if you go over here, this one, prison drama, it's a bit of a spoiler, but you don't want to watch that one. That's a good one. Um, I cover specifically who Crease is interacting with in in prison. We know. We have the answer to that. It'll be a bit of a spoiler, but go ahead and click there. I'll try to move it. I'll try to move it from, from the back end here to the front. Maybe I'll put it here or something. We'll see. But um, be sure to watch all these. Season 5 theories. There's a playlist there. Go ahead and just watch them all. Um. Um, yeah, um, I wouldn't say it, it deals with the issues, but it kind of like acknowledges a world of those issues. Um, I think why Johnny broke the surfboard in the trailer, screwed or punch. Um, maybe, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to like interpret meaning, um, from, from like a, just a shot like that in the trailer because it could be anything. Um, he could be like, I mean, he, I, I don't think it would be this, but he said, man, I don't want to use this board anymore. It never has done me well. And Johnny just kicks it there. Now you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> um, maybe Johnny gets hurt. Um, yeah, maybe, um, you know, we know the team up or the, the Miguel Robbie side of it isn't going to be easy. And I think Johnny's still going to be caught in the middle. Trying to make it work with both of them. She saw Sam flirting with Miguel. Well, F Sam was doing a little bit more than flirting. They were uh, kissing. Um, yes, Dr. Emily Folsom. Um... Harry told Daniel, we're not sweeping floors here. Harder. Um, something like that. I don't remember the exact line. What does Daniel mean when they need to cut the head off the snake? They need to take out Terry Silver, obviously. And then, you know, Chosen is pulls out his size. He's ready to cut him off. Literally. <laughs> um, I did not see Maverick yet. Um. I would like to see it. I just haven't gotten to the theater. Um, yes, I. it does seem like Cobra Kai will likely have um, something new. Um, because of, uh, you know, be with the with the new sensei and the connection and everything. So definitely we'll have something new. <laughs> the surfer is the, the big villain, the big bo bad boss. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Will she even know? Maybe. Um, I don't think she would be opposed to it. Um, I don't think. I don't know. Um, I think Carmen is just more worried about Miguel. So I don't think. I like. I don't think. Uh, Robbie going with her would, um, you know, concern her or anything or like, how dare he go? So I don't, I don't see that being much of an issue. Um, Okay, move the show back on to the students. I I get what you mean. Um, um, like, I get what you mean. Um, and they can, but, you know, the show is always a mix. You know, it's got Johnny and Daniel and the students, so they got to cover it all. Um, and maybe they have a new antagonist. 
We'll see. Uh, Tony and Sam or Miguel and Robbie. I, th I feel like there was more um, energy in the Tory Sam rivalry, for whatever that's worth. Um, maybe it's just the, the two girls fighting over a guy or whatever, but um, definitely a lot of energy there. Do you think Hawk's Mohawk will return? You can't be Hawk without the Hawk, so yes. Um, yeah, uh, it's an ensemble cast. Um, that's definitely true for the most part. Um, but, you know, Johnny, and, Johnny and Daniel are kind of the heart of it. But then you have like Johnny Miguel. So. Um, are we doing another tournament in season six? I don't know what they have planned. Um. I don't necessarily know if it would be season six. Um, it definitely feels like there could be another tournament in there somewhere. Something different than the All Valley under 18. Or maybe it is the All Valley under 18 with Anthony and um, Kenny. But uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that means anything. I, I was going to make a video on that, and then literally that's when the trailer came out, and I actually forgot about it. I was just thinking about that this week. <laughs> I gotta, Like, oh, shoot, i got to make a video on that. <laughs> I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think the stairs mean anything. I think that's just them filling out the, the uh, set. Um, okay, what are the chances Miguel's dad comes to America? I don't know. Like, I, that's another thing that just has been on my mind because I feel like there needs to be some sort of resolution between his dad and Carmen. Um, because obviously some stuff happened between them. Um, you know, it, you would think there would be some sort of resolution between them, uh, something on some level. Um, it, he doesn't necessarily have to go to America for it to happen, but, um, I don't know. Um, but I've always thought it's something that could happen. It's something that could happen. We'll see it, it, not permanently, but just for an episode or two, like one episode he's there. Um, what was your reaction to the trailer? I did do a live stream. Um, when it came out, but like, I was, uh, didn't know what to expect. Um, thought that, you know, the new dojo and stuff like looked really cool. Um, I liked what they were doing with it. Um, kind of really excited by, uh, chosen chosen, like kind of was maybe the biggest the biggest surprise we knew he was going to be there but like it's like kind of the surprise like his, he had the coolest lines obviously um um i did say you know and i've said <laughs> uh, most things in the trailer are kind of things we knew was going to happen like i like we knew johnny and uh robbie were going to mexico like we knew terry silver was expanding we knew uh, you know, Tori may be questioning her win or thinking about that. Um, we didn't quite know anything what was going on with Sam there, um, that dream sequence. Uh, but a lot of it is stuff like like we knew was going to happen. So it wasn't like it wasn't like, wow, this is totally new information. But, but I think like the, the coolest things was just visually seeing the new dojo, um, you know, getting that first glimpse of Mexico, um, that storyline. And then like getting the the glimpse of of chosen in season five how he's gonna be uh really cool and then just getting a hint at um you know sam's storyline whatever you know in her dream sequence where she's trying to deal with stuff um so there was some there was some cool like some stuff we expected but got finally got to see how it would be playing out 
if Barnes returns, do you think we'll see him kick a girl in the abdomen again? Well, I don't know what body part he's going to kick, um, but I do think it may come up um, either in a humorous way, a serious way. I don't know. Um, you know, Daniel could be very cautious about him. He's not afraid to hit a girl. Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, but, 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 um, Johnny wasn't teaching Miguel karate with the chores. It was just, he, Miguel was cleaning the dojo, but that was because the dojo needed to be cleaned, uh, because it was, it was a new rental and they were fixing it up literally to open. Um, so it wasn't like he was learning like Mr. Miyagi. Um, that's why they even made some jokes about the whole thing. How many teaser trailers? Um, um, Netflix seems to be just doing. I think they're they're more or less, you know, a teaser and a full trailer. Um, obviously, they have other stuff they release. They release scenes. Um, they seem to really like doing this in the run up. Um, I w actually, I liked how they did it in season three. I didn't like how they did it in season four, because like in season three. You know, they released a scene, you know, a little bit before, but it was like in season four, they released like a scene a day for the last few days or something. And it was kind of dumb. I, and they weren't great scenes. I mean, they, they were just like, it was like, okay, I get it. And it was a lot of times it was stuff we kind of saw or knew already. Yeah, it's going to be on a Friday. Um, definitely seems like Cobra Kai as a show they like to release on Friday. So definitely binge it. Um, I'll probably be live for when it drops and then go ahead and binge it. And then I'll be back later that day, you know, afternoon or evening for a live stream recap for those of us who binged it, <laughs> uh, which I did this past year, which was hard because it was like December 31st. And I'm going live, but whatever. What do you think will happen with Robbie and Tori's relationship? You know, okay, so that's a good question. Um, uh, it depends on how um, they handle after the tournament. Um, I don't think Tori like, is going to object to Robbie going to Mexico. Um, as long as, assuming he does tell her, which I think he would. Um, you know, he's leaving with his dad, so I don't think she's objecting, uh, how she, if Robbie wants to stay in Cobra Kai or leave and how that handles, we'll see. Um, obviously they'll be apart for a good, at least a chunk of the season because Robbie will be in Mexico. So we'll see how they handle that. That's a big part of it. Um, but I like them together, so I hope... Um, I hope they more or less stay together. Um, the Obi-Wan show. I haven't seen episode four yet. Um, I saw the first three episodes. And basically what I've said is I thought it started high. I was really enjoying it. And then it's just like a, a gradual decline. It's not like a cliff. But I just felt like as the show goes on more and more, I'm just enjoying it less and less. Um, I, I do think it breaks canon. <laughs> they don't care, whatever. But like, but like that's just part of the reason. Like I'm enjoying it less and less. Just I haven't seen episode four yet, but that was just my take on the first three episodes. It's just been a s started high, but just been a slowly kind of going down. First thing you see, you wouldn't, you wouldn't load up Netflix and watch it. Like, are you, are you saying here you haven't watched it yet? Like, because you had school. So you were like waiting. Like I, if you get home on the ninth, the first thing you had to do is load it up and watch it. 
You don't don't even open YouTube. Don't open YouTube. Open Netflix and watch it. And hopefully you watched a few episodes the night before so you can pick up and finish. Is Daniel going to believe one more Barnes tells them about anything if they have a conversation? Or would he reach as he did with Silver Shoden? Uh, I mean, I get it with Crease. Um, I would, yeah, I would say he's disinclined to believe anything Barnes says, but who really knows um, how they're going to handle that? So we'll see. Oh, you're watching it on the bus. Well, yeah, that may happen. Cobra Disney Jedi. <laughs> A Cobra Jedi. I like that name. <laughs> the first episode is the only one that's good. Um, yeah, the first episode had about the best scenes. Um, it was a little slowly paced, but, um, yeah. Miguel and Sam should break up and have it stay that way. So it doesn't make interaction, awkward interactions with them. And Miguel and Sam's relation will be over. So Robbie doesn't feel betrayed. Um, well, I don't think Miguel and Sam are going to break up. Although she may be mad at him for going to Mexico like the, the way he did, but um, so I don't, I don't think that's going to be going. Matt Moore, you are very smart. Actually, I'm the same way. I signed up for the the YouTube Red, you know, premium. Um. And then you realize you don't have to watch ads and you're like, you know what? This is worth it. Um, it is like more. It's like 20 bucks a month. Um, but it also I use it for the stream music. You know, if you have Spotify or something or any of those music streaming services, I would recommend instead dropping that and getting YouTube premium uh, because you get the streaming service from it. And um, then you can just watch any YouTube without ads and I think that is um, a much better deal. It is it is like 20 bucks a month, but like that's a good deal. Um, and YouTube has a separate app you can download for your phone, YouTube Music. Um, that can that's good for like streaming music. So if you're into that. <clears throat> and by the way, um, most people don't, may not know this. Um, it's it's a subtle way to help YouTube creators uh, that you like. Um, the revenue given to creators, if you watch an ad versus if you're a YouTube premium subscriber is actually um, significantly more, um, you know, like 10 times more. Now, that me could mean like um, four tenths of a cent. Like if someone watches an ad on your channel, you make it like four tenths of a cent. And, but if they're subscribed to YouTube premium, maybe you get four cents, something like that. Like it's four pennies. So obviously it's not like a lot, but if people have YouTube premium, it actually, um, it's like, it's like a subtle way to help, uh, YouTube creators, uh, that you like, you know, it's not major. Um, you know, if you want to support something more, you can join the channel membership, but like, um, being a YouTube premium and plus then you don't have to watch the ads. So you help the creator and not watch the ads. So, um, I actually think that's a, it's a good thing to consider. I'm so sorry for Johnny's TV. <laughs> it falls. Yeah, yeah, Johnny's TV has gotten beat up more than anything else in the series. Um, I I think it's very likely just they'll never mention Sid again. Um, he was always written in a way where he and Johnny never wanted to be in each other's life. You know, he's like, I'm writing you out of my life or something. Um. And they, they dedicated the episode to him. You know, they acknowledged him in season four. So I think um, I think it's more likely just that. 
Uh, they'll leave it at that. Um, and not get into the, the mess of like dealing with like, you know, apparently Johnny's his only family. We don't even know. Stepson, but but I don't think they'll cover it. YouTube music is bomb. Sam will be annoyed about Mexico, but she won't dump Miguel the way Allie did Johnny. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, I don't I don't think Sam's gonna dump Miguel. What does Terry mean when he's playing with fire? Uh, that's a good question. It could be a few different things. Um he could be referring to like right there. Um like John D Daniel not closing Miyagi Do as per the agreement. That could that could be a good reason. Um or just, you know, Daniel trying to poach his students, trying to compete with them, something like that. There will always be outrageous theories. Yes, there will. What do you think will happen with Eagle Fang? I think Johnny closes up. He he said he was going to close it. He didn't seem like he was going to go back on the deal. Plus, he's going to Mexico anyway. Um, so we may be done with Eagle Fang. Um, the merchandising department may not be done with it. Um, because they can sell more shirts and stuff. But um, I, Eagle Fang never really struck me as something that was going to keep a long, keep a stick around. Um, so we'll see. Um, Silver Crease, Sensei versus Student, uh, maybe, but they've more or less avoided fights like that. So I don't think, plus we got more than enough senseis and, you know, Daniel, Johnny, Chosen, Silver, Kim Daun, you know, so we got, we got plenty to go. What does Sam's dream mean? Um, I think I covered it in my breakdown video. Make sure you watch the trailer breakdown video. Um, I think it's like Sam trying to just cover things that she feels guilty about or insecure about. Or, you know, mistakes she made in her life. Something like that. Um, obviously, these are things that are haunting her. And we're in a, a yet another Sam Dream sequence. Uh, thank you, Matt, for coming on in. I am gasoline. Yes, Sam will become a Sith Lord. <laughs> um... Maybe, but who turns her to the dark side? You know, you got to have a someone to turn you. Scared for Robbie. Yeah, um, yeah, could be. Yeah, if Eagle Fang shuts down, what happens? I think they migrate to Miyagi-Do, at least for season five. Uh, we'll see what happens from there, but. Um, um, but I think in season five, maybe they're migrating over to Miyagi-Do with Chosen or something like that. Do you think there will be a teaser in July? Uh, no. Uh, there may be something, something marketing related uh, for sure. But I don't think there will necessarily be a trailer. I don't think. I don't see. It doesn't seem like their style. Yeah, I don't know. Geek Geek Week is sort of ridiculous. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to anything. Um, maybe I just don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you think any Terry senseis will turn against him? Um, uh, be sure to watch the ver the the video on the new sensei Kim Da Un, um, because I do think that's possible. She, if, if anyone, it's her. For various reasons. Um, you know, as I explained in that video, um, if she views herself as a granddaughter or whatever, Kim Sun Young, you know, she views this as something almost from her family 
um, she almost feels like entitled to it, and she positions herself to take out Silver. Uh, the official trailer, yeah, some sometime in August, mid August, give or take. Kenny will beat up Anthony outside school, but Anthony will know a little bit of karate and a Dimitri just to me. Yeah, you know. Kenny still beats him up. Um, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be obviously a whole storyline now with Kenny and Anthony. Um, that will continue now going into this season. So, <laughs> they fire the people involved. Yeah. Cobra Kai talk. Hey, watch party. Hey, man. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, members, we may do a meetup this week. Um, I got to figure out. How I want to do this. I don't know what's going to happen later this month. Uh, but I'll make a post. So just be on the lookout. We'll see. Well, okay. So now that Robbie fixed his relationship with his dad, uh, Daniel, Robbie, um, I think you're jumping the gun there. Uh, Zona. Is it, or are you pronouncing the name? Um, Robbie didn't fix his relationship with his dad yet. Um, we got to see how it goes. In season five. So, um, you know, so I think there's still some bumps on the road because like, like, like we know just from the trailer, um, you know, Johnny's taking Robbie to Mexico and didn't even tell him why that's kind of weird. Um, not really a hockey fan. I miss it. John, um, so, yeah, but anyway, yeah, Robbie, um, they're not necessarily fixed yet. How will Kreese get out of prison? I don't know. We'll see how they decide to play it. I just, I honestly have no idea. Um, correct. Correct on that. Told you not to play with fire. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I got a birthday party to go to. Um, a lot of, a lot of annoying stuff to do. Uh, I am writing a video. I'm sorry, it should be out. Should have been out, but it's not. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more on some stuff about Kim Sun Young, um, Kim Da Un, and a few other things we've gotten from Hayden. Um, hopefully that'll be out. In a day or two, it depends. But um, if it's like I gotta do stuff like birthday party, because sometimes kids turn five. <laughs> Terry smashing the money. Um, but uh, thank you everyone. Uh, take care. Thank you. It's 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 just great to to you know do the, do a casual live stream and you know people come in and sit back and chat and we'll we'll just keep it up. We'll keep doing it. <laughs> 